If I was to do it again, I would do it with a recirculating system. Been a lot of places. I think we crossed 19 borders on the way down there. A lot of times you're moving things around, but that's part of van life. We were told our documents were out of order. Our uh, van was taken away. My name is Linda. And my name is Bill. We'd love to introduce you to Grace and take you inside and give you a tour. Welcome to Inside Our Van. My husband and I built the inside of this out in our 60s after retirement. We decided to hit the road, liquidated everything, and we decided at our age we're going to have everything that a house has just in a tiny form. So we have, um, we've got a, a sink underneath the sink storage for cleansers. We've got a drawer that we keep all of our dishes in, little extras. We have the upper cabinet that has food. We've got two levels uh, that we can store things. And I got to highly recommend building something so when you open the door, it doesn't all fall out. <laughs> because when you're traveling, you get it all going wonky in there. We are both love to cook, love to bake. And with that comes an oven and a stovetop. We were inspired by another YouTuber that did the gas and um, kind of followed that act with a underneath um, propane that we attached. So this is propane ran, this is propane ran. It uh, goes for, I don't know, a month maybe out on the road. Just can't say enough about everything. We're comfortable, it's our level, what we want. That's the good thing about building it out. It's like, I think I might need this. Like for me, 65, do I wanna run behind the bush outside in the middle of the night? Nope. <laughs> so we think about these things. So when we decided to do this we did a lot of talking about it a lot of planning um, our kids were grown and had their own kids we have four children three daughters and one son and 13 grandbabies and you reach this point in retirement where they start getting busy with their lives but we uh, liquidated and decided to minimize very much minimalization and went on the road what we thought we would do is two to three years and decide where is it we want to have our next home. This is our little camper. I call it hillbilly heaven. The wife always gets mad at me when I do. But if you look around at the things that we're showing you, a lot of them were inspired by other YouTubers. Uh, we've spent a lot of time looking at video after video to get this idea for this or that idea for that and I think one of our biggest inspirations was Trent and Allie and they go way back if any of you follow them. So we set it up so that we can have a space to sit during the day. We can come, we've got somewhere we can sit, we can look out at the ocean or whatever, have dinner. If we get ready and it's time for bed, everything converts into a bed. All this comes apart. This goes down into here just like with this board, they all come up, they all lay in, and then we just turn our cushions at that point, they just turn this way and line up in there, make our bed up, and we're set for the night. As far as for power, we're powered by two large solar panels on the roof. We've got 370 amp hour batteries, lithium batteries underneath that supply us with a lot of the power that we need, I mean, more than enough. It seems like we do well. We never have to plug in. If the sun's shining, we're good to go. In here, we can take this apart. We have to, a lot of times you're moving things around, but that's part of van life. You know, we don't have a great big long motor home. This is what we've got. So we'll pull it apart like this. And if I'm having to get down into a lot of times I'll move these into the shower if I need room and you come in and then in here is our our power source. We got a Victron 3000 watt inverter or inverter charger and that supplies all of our power and we seem to do very well with the amount of power that that we're getting. We do well. We've got a refrigerator. Uh, it's an isotherm refrigerator. It does well for us. And then we've got a 
on-demand hot water heater and the heater heater you know all of our lighting here fans for like when you get into hot country our top fan will bring cool air in but when you get into costa rica or some of those other countries that are humid you, you know it's nice to have another little fan blowing some cool air on you to cool you off and we found it to be sufficient we've we've never been in a place where you know where we didn't have enough it's always always been good for us for entertainment at night we've got our little handy dandy pull out we wind up our movies that we download somewhere and we can sit and watch TV at night. And then our fan, we've got the, you know, the regular, just like everybody else has got the little fan on top that brings the cool air in for us. This here, pretty easy. That's like I say, that this comes up, the whole thing pops up and out of the way if you need to move it. Water, we've got 33 gallons of water in this container here. And, you know, you just, you learn to be a water miser. You crack the faucet just a dribble, you know, so that you can get the dishes done. Clothes storage, you know, there's his and hers. I better not show you hers, she'll get mad. His isn't any good though, that's, that's small. You know, that's not a lot of space. You gotta, you learn to carry only what you need. You've gotta minimize. We decided to do a trip of a lifetime. We planned and went uh, all the way down to Panama, crossing many borders, came around through on the Pacific side. Uh, we came back on the Caribbean side. We met up with some people that we knew there. And then from there, we entered into the northern part of Costa Rica, passing into Nicaragua. Um, we were told our documents were out of order. Our uh, van was taken away. Um, they said, pull it aside, documents aren't in order. And Bill went in to make sure that, that he could get it in order. Yeah, after that, they, there really wasn't a whole lot to talk about. We were down there, he said paperwork was out of order, hand me the keys, and that was basically it. We were left standing on the side of the road in Costa Rica, you know, trying to find somewhere to go for the night. And by the way, it was during the pandemic. So unfortunately, as our government closed uh, offices, so did they. So it took quite a while to get it back. A year and a half later, uh, lots of money <laughs> going back and forth. Uh, went to the high courts of Costa Rica and uh, the documents, I don't know, 20 page document says, give how old their van back customs is wrong. Uh, they alleged that we were importing the van when we were actually trying to leave their country to go back to the United States. Uh, we won in the end, uh, had to have it shipped back in a container. Unfortunately, there was a big backup of the, you know, you hear about the sh supply chain and the big ships out there in the ocean. They could not, from Costa Rica, ship it and us expect to get it along the coast. So we ended up going uh, into Tampa Bay, Florida, and so we flew Cross country to pick it up and took our time coming back. We were just really happy to have it back. All righty, once again, uh, you know, everybody's different in travel. You know, some people want a shower, some people want one in the back, or they want it on the side of the van. And we chose to build it inside because sometimes we're in a Walmart parking lot and we don't want to stand outside and have everybody watching a shower. So we built this shower here. It, it works great for us. Uh, we've got a little handy dandy light up here. We got our shower, all of our shampoo and conditioner and everything in one little unit. Makes it easier instead of carrying multiple bottles. We got on-demand hot water. So, you know, that works well. Um, the only one thing, if I was to do it again, might be that I would do it with a recirculating system, which a lot of YouTubers are doing nowadays. We just didn't have the time to fit everything in before we did it, because we built this to do a Central America trip, and we were in a hurry, so that's what happened, that's what got done. And showers, a lot of times, uh, they're gonna end up with a lot of stuff in them. I mean, we've got hanging stuff, goodies, and you know, that's where we keep the odds and ends, maybe extra water that we're carrying along with us. You learn to take short showers, uh, you know, if you don't have somewhere that you can refuel with water right away. So 
but uh, that's the shower. I wouldn't want to discourage people, you know, you From hear that adventure. story and everybody starts getting scared. Uh, it, we had a lot of great times. It, it was a hoot. I mean, I would do it over again. I would go again. It's just one of those things what was, that happens along the way. I mean, what part was, of the voyage. Hey, you know, we were talking about the shower just a minute ago. And um, one of the other things that we did consider is we have a faucet that goes into our kitchen sink that we can turn around and use outside. It pulls out. We found it in very sandy areas. You might want to rinse your feet off from the sand before you come in. If any of you go into the sandy areas, you'll know that sooner or later you do get sand. That's just the way it is, but it does cut down on it quite a bit. Um, around the corner from the shower, we do have a cabinet we keep. Uh, we call it our pharmacy. <laughs> we get our Tylenol or ibuprofens or Band-Aids or, um, you know, just little bathroom toiletry things we might want to keep up there and then below that we have a um, compostable toilet that Bill built in for us before we took off like I say that, that it has came in very handy I have to laugh because even if we go shopping in town and all of a sudden you just you know there it is pull the curtain that we have up above and we have privacy um, one of the things that we added in our van were what the I think it's called um, the the brand is Van X. I think it's in Europe uh, that we ordered these curtains. And I'll tell you what, they're a little expensive, but they are awesome. Um, we've got them to where they pull across the back. Um, they're a game changer. It's just super. Uh, a lot of vans don't have the turnaround seats. We opted to do that um, after the Banos, if you want to call it that, or the Komodo's put in. We can't turn this fully around, but we found that the passenger seat we use all the time uh, when we decide somebody's in the kitchen doing something um, or uh, we've got enough sitting seating in here for us we found that it's it's probably even excess uh, the reflectix somebody had recommended somewhere and we absolutely love the reflectix uh, for privacy we have lived in below zero uh, temperature and have been very comfortable all the way to 96 super humid Costa Rica, and it's done really well for us. We chose to do insulation with um, ideas from YouTube. We come across multiple videos. You just watch them over and over and you put together what it is you would like, like an architect with a plan. What is it you desire in your design? And then you put it together and, and it all came to be. We, um, we did liquidate everything in Oregon and started traveling. Um, in 2018 and went to Panama Canal and back. Been a lot of places. I think we crossed 19 borders on the way down there. So we got pretty adept at what paperwork to do in Espanol. <laughs> a little bit, little bit more difficult than if it's in your language, but um, we made it through with Google Translator's help. We have found it's 21 foot in length. So two things come to mind. One is when you're going into town, driving or parking, uh, it's much easier than a very large uh, RV. Uh, plus the mileage we had to consider. We didn't want something that you had to stop at every gas station. So this was the perfect size for us. Uh, there's this thought that you live out of your van, not in it. And so when you move into a van and you decide to travel, you do spend a lot of time outdoors and adventure. I can't imagine a person going into this kind of lifestyle that wouldn't be in an adventure. So with that in mind, yes, we can park in a regular parking lot. Um, the other thing, the part two of that, is if you get into a situation where you need to ship it, you can fit it into a container. Um, Bill has on the top decided to put a toolbox um, up there and we found a situation where we needed to ship it and we had to remove that and then we just put it inside things to consider. Driving is kind of like a pickup I would say. Um, not like a small sedan but not like a huge bus. It's done super good as far as that goes. Well, again, we're Bill and Linda from Montana. We do not want to discourage adventure. We encourage you to get out there. In fact, do the van gatherings. Let's plan one at your place. Or go out there and enjoy. Mm -hmm.